Good morning, traders. I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJL Futures. It's Friday morning, June 19th, uh, here to talk to you about the grain markets. Okay, the row crops, the charts I'm going to put in front of you here in the next minute time, they're trending higher. They look pretty good. So we'll start with the corn market here. You can see the chart of corn. Remember last week now, it kind of looked like the market was going from the lower left to the upper right. And look at this corn chart now. We take out yesterday's high. You're going to have a daily reversal up. My work would stay the next two to three business days, uh, corn would trade higher. So look for corn to close strong and be strong early next week. Uh, the corn shorts in this are approaching record large, so certainly you got a big short position, and uh, what's going to continue these corn prices higher is going to depend on the weather here a little later in the growing season. Um, the eastern corn basis is firming up, so that's good, and uh, you know the weather here, the forecast, it looks good if realized, and certainly weather other forecasts are forecasts until they are realized. So nice chart on corn here this morning. Okay, the soybean market. Another of these row crop charts look good. Soybeans look at three days of higher highs and higher lows in soybeans now. So that's a nice chart. Uh, uh, China continues to remain active here. Their new crop purchases of U.S. soybeans are better than last year. So that's a real good story here, and we need China to just keep buying U.S soybeans. Um, some of the talking points now about these markets tied to soy is certainly the equity markets and the energy markets. And all of this is the ebb and flow of the coronavirus. And if this virus flares up again, you're going to see these equity markets come storming lower, and certainly equity markets as well, and that's going to weigh on soybean here. So soybeans, they're low versus corn now, and, and uh, this last half of uh, uh, June is seasonally a weak time for soybean and corn. And the early first half of July is a better seasonal time for soybean. So look for these soybean markets to rally into this June 30th report. And like I mentioned last week, this is a million dollar report here at the end of the month. We'll get that out of the way and then we'll see how weather does here. Okay, the wheat market, just the opposite now. Wheat is not going to show independent strength. You can see it's trending lower here. Uh, as long as the corn Corn yields are stable as long as Russia spring wheat areas uh, uh, don't have uh, dryness here and Canada, Australia wheat crops, they develop normally, wheat's going to have some trouble in here. We're getting better than expected yields out of Kansas and our great country, USA, and that's holding the wheat market back. Let's all have an excellent weekend.